Hello! Today we're going to have a quick look at how to install DNS, the DNS role. Okay, very simply, um, when you start up Windows Server 2012 R2, you have this Server Manager dashboard, which starts up automatically. If you want to disable that, you just click over there, and then you can click over here, and then do not start. Okay, if you click that, it won't start automatically. Okay, let's just click on cancel. My mouse is acting a little funny today, but that's fine. Okay, add roles and features. Click on that. Next, next. Okay, you select the server. Okay, we have the IP address previously set up as static, etc. in the previous video. Here we go. Click on DNS server. Yeah, that'll tell you what it's going to add. Click on add features. Click next. Next again, because that one is basically just adding features, which we're not adding a feature right now. We're adding the role. Next, um, good practice. Restart the server automatically if needed. And click install. This should take a couple of minutes. Uh, basically, as you can see, we're operating on Hyper-V. Oh, it's actually quite quick. Let's not stop it. Okay, it's, it's a couple of steps. Once the DNS server has been added, we then configure it, which we'll do in a, middle, in a minute. Do, 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 do. Okay, let's. Ah, there we go. Seems to like every time I go upstairs. Okay, so that's succeeded. That's done. As you can see over here, you have this DNS, the new thing it's come up. Double click on it. Okay, this is our DNS server. Now we right click DNS Manager. Okay, here we go. Let's enlarge that. Here we go. All right, this is the DNS server over here. If you can see, there are no zones set up right now. Okay, we can do it from here or we can do it from here. Right click again, configure a DNS server. Okay, next. Okay, create a forward lookup zone. Yes, that's um, straightforward. If you wanted a forward and a reverse lookup zone, then that's obviously for bigger companies. You'd probably do that. Okay, click next. This server maintains a zone. Yes, at present it does. Okay, let's go. All right, let's give this zone a name. A name will be 2012r2.com. Go forward, create a new file with this file name. Yes, that's fine, the zone file. Perfectly fine. Allow both non-secure and secure dynamic updates. Right now, because we don't have Active Directory installed, you're only getting this, or you're getting this, but you're not getting allow only secure dynamic updates. We can always configure that later once we have Active Directory installed. At present, we'll just say do not allow, as that's a little bit safer. Click next. Okay, forwarders. Um, yes, why not? All right, let's go to my favorite. Eight, 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 eight. That is, believe it or not, Google. So what this actually means is, um, our DNS server will have the IP addresses of our computers locally on our own internal network, etc., and those that are connected to us. Okay, however, our DNS server does not know the address of outside companies, for example, Microsoft. Yes, it might seem simple, it's a Microsoft product, but yes, it does not know all these IP addresses of all these other websites. 
and etc services out there so we need our DNS server when it cannot find the information internally within its own records to actually go outside and retrieve the information from that external source and then come back and pass it to the programs, the computers, etc., etc., that make the request. Okay, good, good, good. As you can see, it's found that over there. Click next. Okay, that's fine. Click finish. And we're done, believe it or not. We now have a DNS server. Okay. Forward lookup zone 2012. Okay. If we went over here, we would ab absolutely be able to find all these things. Okay. All right. Perfect. Let's try it out because I'm feeling happy. Okay. Let's move him down a little bit. All right. Move him over there. Okay. Let's click NS. Look up. Wow, we have a server. Ah, hold on. All right, let's click server. And one 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 seven five. That's fine. And let's find Google, for example. Wow, it's working. You see. This NS lookup program basically is finding the IP addresses of um, websites, services, etc., etc., out there. And obviously, if you look in here, we don't have Google's IP address. We only have server 002. Let, let's find server 002. Server 002. Ah, wow! Amazing! Perfect! It finds us. Okay, so as you can see, guys, um, we have our DNS manager set up, DNS server set up. Sorry, my mistake. Okay, what would we do over here? Okay, there's a few things that we could do at some point. All right, we can go to properties. Okay, and zone transfers, start off authority. Okay, all these things, the name servers. All these very very simple basic things let's go over here click in properties over here forwarders as we set up before all right advanced simple things root hints debug logging this is actually quite nice if you want to get all these reports you can click on that and then go all the way down click 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 and then give the address of where you want that log file to be for example C colon backslash um, whatever you know um, DNS server logs backslash and then a file name all right something along those lines all right okay later in our active directory video I'll show you how to configure things a lot more thank you for watching any questions please feel free to ask